What is up, Amalettes? It's me, Amma Jane, on Amma Jane TV. And yes, we're here. I just realised I need to be more careful with my leg because, for those who don't know, I actually uh, fell over on Saturday, I actually slipped uh, the concrete and I hurt my knee. Well, it's not just, oh, a bruise. No, it actually, my skin peeled and everything. Yeah, it's been bleeding for the past three days. It still bleeds and it hurts like a, like a bitch because I'm a bitch. <laughs> because I whine a lot. So with that being said, we are going to watch um, a, a new comeback and it's M none, none other than MCND and it's, their song is called Ice Age. I really liked their, I, yeah I like their, you know, I, I can sense they got high potential, you know, obviously like I said, especially they come from, from Shinwa's uh, Mukne member Andy's company Top Media, so of course, home of Up Tension, Team Top, and 100%. So now we got MCND with a new one called Ice Age, and then we can just react in 3, 2, 1, go, go. Honestly, I don't know what to expect. Oh, they changed their color, of course, they did. I don't know their names. It's a five member boy group. I actually really like him. Oh my god, why am I smiling? And I really like his hair, the one with the blue hair. He's really cute. He's really cute. I should have known. I should have known. He's got a deep voice. He's cute, but the hair though, the hair's like, who, who did his hair? Who did your hair? Why did he, why did he twist his hair like that? No, oh my god. Oh, he's so cute! The one with the pinky hair, oh, he's so adorable. I want to squeeze your cheeks, like, like, twist them. Sorry. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, you're so cute! This reminds me of BTS for some reason when they first debut. When oh my god, but they're like more not even close to the outfits because their <laughs> their outfits were something else with BTS. But they're like more like you know. The up to date fashion, like a mixture of you know, the style of music is a little bit like BTS, clothing wise, like fashion wise, NCTU definitely. I actually really, I really like this group. I actually, you're gonna have a problem that the one, the, the rap of the, of the, of the deep voice, the blue hair. Oh, he's from Split Second. He actually looked like a bit. He actually looks a little bit like Kai and and a mixture of Kai and Baekhyun, just like mishmash, just a little mishmash there. I like this group. I just realised that Top Media don't have girl groups; they only have boy groups in their company. Maybe Andy doesn't know how to handle girl groups. So I think he's being the wise one here. I love your blue hair. I want to like rip off his head and put it on my head because it's so good. That was so fucking good. Oh my God. That was so good. That was so good. I knew I could sense this group is going to go far and beyond, far and beyond. Again, 
this group it belongs to Andy Shinwa. If you're new in K-pop and you only know BTS, go search up Shinwa. Shinwa is what is considered to be the biggest legendary boy groups in K-pop. They're like literally the first generation of K-pop group boy groups. They're all men. They're fucking handsome. Is ridiculous. Like. It makes no fucking sense how are they still this good looking. They are so good looking men. Some, of course, some of them just look older, but some just like, they look like snacks. Like, holy shit, like, bruh. Andy is adorbs. Like, the the CEO of Top Media. I can say that because he's old. <laughs> he is like my brother's age. It's kind of weird, but okay. Wait, is he? Is he really? Or is he like a year younger than my brother? Because he's nearly in his 40s, if I'm correct. But he doesn't look 40. Actually, none of them do. To be exact. So, with that being said, 10 out of 10. Bruh. I knew, I knew, I had like my, my, my expect, I think in my head, I didn't want to say anything of expectations. Because in my head, I, my head was said I got high expectation of this group because of the, the, the debut song was great the comeback had to be even greater than the first song boy was I right boy was I right in my head of course I didn't say it out loud because I didn't want to jeopardize I didn't want to jinx it so yeah my head did the talking so that's why I was quite silent didn't want to say anything and look I was right my head was right <laughs> so yeah this was death 10 out of 10 uh, I want to know names. If you know their names by heart, please comment down below who is who. I actually, my, the one who caught my attention is the rapper with the blue hair. The, yeah, the one with the deep voice. I don't. I want to know his age. I want to know his name, his age, and his name. Yeah, cause I think I think he's the one to be my bias. I don't know why, but he's the one. But okay, with that, I'll just leave it to you guys. I love you all. Annyeong, everyone. And Sarah Hill.